Beards on my YouTube. Red Beards DIY here. I changed the name of the channel. I uh, started up a business. And so I uh, changed it all over. So still me, but it's Red Beards DIY now. Um, today we're working on the uh, shallow water anchors. Uh, I was looking, I bought a Minn Kota Tavora or however you say it uh, about a month ago. And um, spot lock works great on it. It'll keep you within a foot to two foot, I'd say. Uh, I'm still tweaking on it and trying to make everything, you know, link up and work right with all my other stuff. Um, but when it gets you on that spot, if the wind blows, it swings the tail of your boat around and everything else. And uh, being in deep water, there's not a lot you can do about it besides, uh, you know, anchor in. And, uh, <clears throat> but um, I wanted something for shallow water. I've been looking at the uh, power poles. But two power poles for my size boat, a 21 foot skiff, is going to run me around, I think, four grand. And I was just not putting that much money, that much more money in a boat. So, um, <clears throat> this is what we're going to build. It's going to be uh, one of the strongest ones, I think, that I've seen on YouTube. I've researched and looked and... A lot of people use PVC pipe, and uh, I was looking at fiberglass rods <clears throat> to get, and uh, a set of fiberglass rods that would go from like 8 foot to 14 foot was going to run me around $400, just for the stakes. And that's not the mountain brackets, that's, that's not nothing. Uh, this thing I've got set up right here will probably run around 200 to $250. Uh, if you can weld aluminum, it'll be a lot cheaper for you. Uh, I have the ability to weld aluminum, and I can, but I didn't have a argon tank, and uh, you need 100% argon for welding aluminum, and I didn't want to change one of my tanks out just to weld uh, two brackets. So uh, I had a local shop do it and make my brackets for me for my boat. It was 120 bucks, and then uh, I went to Lowe's. And Ladies and gentlemen, this is the everything you should need. Um, these are the brackets I had made. They are 16 inches from here to here. They are a uh, quarter inch thick. The gussets go up to, I think, four inches is what I told him. And then this, it'll sit on the boat like this. So I didn't have him drill holes in it because... I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted it, but that's them right there. That's what I'm going to use as my shallow water anchor stobs for my boat. All right, then we got paint. Uh, I was going to try something a little different, the hammered rustoleum. It's black. I was going to do lime green, but I figured lime green would just stick out and it wouldn't look as good. Um, I got some uh, epoxy to epoxy these ends on. And I've got some marine grade silicone to silicone where I drill the holes in the boat for that. Um, these pipes, they're three quarter inch by 10 foot long. And the wall thickness is probably one eighth inch. These right here, I bought these for the bottom. Like I said, I'm going to take the epoxy, mix it up, and probably some of that silicone too. And uh, run the epoxy up in there. And then all you do is hammer them up in there. And then that'll be your foot for the bottom. And then I bought these. They're like a T. But they, they fit my hand pretty good. But I've got big hands. But I was going to use them for the T on the top. That way, if you're fishing in, you know, 10 foot of water and something ever happens, it comes up over it. It's not going to fall down in that hole. And plus it gives you a place to sink these in the ground a little better. Uh, you're going to need, these are two inch by uh, half inch stainless steel bolts. You need eight <coughs> fender washers, stainless steel. And then you need four stainless steel lock nuts. If you don't want the stuff resting on your boat. And if you don't care, then it's whatever. If you're going to paint over it. It'll still probably rust eventually, but 
Uh, let me show you how they're going to go on the boat. Here's my boat. And sorry, it was a Minn Kota Ultera, not a Tavora. Um, <clears throat> I have two Bimini tops. Uh, bought two exactly the same. What I'm going to do is we use this boat a lot for uh, fishing, of course, but my wife and kids, they use it a lot for pulling tubes and, you know, right there's one and stuff like that. So when we go tubing, I want to make sure I can cover this whole deck. Uh, I'm all, I've already got one on here, but it's right there. And it only covers to probably about right here somewhere. And, uh, or right here. And I want it to cover, you know, this front part. Plus, if I'm ever catfishing, I can take the back one off or leave the back one down and leave the front one up and then just sit up here under the shade and then you got plenty of room back here to cast and everything else. But my game plan was with these is to either A, put them like this and put them off the side of my boat, run that angle as tight up there as I can get it and then square it up on my boat figure out where I need to drill my two holes and then anchor them in there and I mean that should hold enough to anchor this out back here but I don't know if I should you know put one back here and one over here or if I should put one back here and one off the front side up here. Somewhere like this or something. Or even maybe not off the side, maybe right off the nose. That way I can butt up to a dock and it ain't gonna matter or, you know, that should have plenty of clearance here. Um, I just worry about it getting into this when you're loading up. Uh, Loading up a flat bottom boat, especially with the bunks way back here on the side, it gets to be a pain sometimes. It, um, I've got it down to a routine where it ain't too bad, but I try to leave my bunks underneath out of the water a little more than I used to and drive it up on there. It seems to be working better, but that's where I think they're going to go somewhere around here anyways. Um, I'm not sure, but there'll either be one in the front and one in the back, or either two in the back. And then if it starts moving too much, I can always should be able to drop the trolling motor and it keeps us in place. But yeah, got my problem. center line here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to bolt this at. I want to try to get a bolt hole as close to the front as I can, and also as far back as I can, and that'll make it more stable and the tighter I get this to the boat which is gonna be right there at that angle um, it'll make it more rigid this way and side to side and everything so that's what we're working on there all right we got our two marks on there where I'm gonna drill the half inch holes um, this one is gonna be right there and it should come out right underneath this lip somewhere and make sure I try to miss all them. But I'm gonna bring it down underneath this lip, try to center it. And then the other one will be on the inside of my rope storage box and anchor box. Got my holes drilled. Uh, had to drill them five eighths. My half inch one uh, is gone. I don't know where it's at, but I had to drill it five eighths. <clears throat> um, Plus, it'll give a little bit more of a wiggle room, and uh, I can cinch down on it when I get it on the boat. Right, guys, get the bottoms and the plugs in, get them siliconed in. Uh, up here, I had Loctite, but uh, since we had this clear epoxy, um, I just used it, and uh, I filled this, there's a lot of there's a gap in there so what I did was I took the epoxy and run it all the way around on the inside 
And then when I put this in, I took these out and I filled those holes full of epoxy and then screwed them down on there and tightened them down. So this stuff's already starting to set up. I ain't even been two minutes. Um, so you gotta do that fast. So whenever you mix your epoxy, make sure you go really fast. You gotta be done within, I'd say five minutes of as soon as you get it mixed. Well, there's my shallow water. Got everything painted up. Uh, everything finished. I hit that with some of that hammered Rust-Oleum real light. Didn't put it real thick. And uh, then spritzed it with some uh, safety green or high-vis fluorescent green. Uh, I'm not really worried about how these ends look. I'm not really worried about any of it. I just made it a little darker. Because uh, I know once I start sliding it in and out of those brackets that uh, they're going to scratch and booger up and you know there ain't gonna be nothing i can do about it so i just want to get dull it down a little bit i think it looks pretty good got uh this one installed on the back of my boat um it's in there solid I ain't going nowhere it's shaking the whole boat uh it's, like i said it's two half inch bolts and I figured we could use it also as a handrail to get back up on the boat when somebody's out there. And then um, I was going to put one on the opposite side, caddy corner. But I like having an open space up here. Uh, my wife, she likes to bass fish more than I do. And uh, usually what happens when we go out, she catches all my bait. And then we stop, let the kids swim. I anchor up or pull up to a sandbar and uh, I start catfishing. So, but what I did was I figured we'd put it on this side. That way I kept that open right there. So what you're gonna do is, uh, what I do anyways, is I take marine grade silicone. Uh, this is Loctite, picked it up at Lowe's. <clears throat> and I run a bead of caulk. Sorry, it started to dry. All the way around both holes. This is where my old trolling motor was, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill all these holes with silicone. Keep water from getting in them, and then when I finish this up, I'll fill in them other three holes back there. But I do that and then I will put my bolts in, set my plate down on here, squeeze that down. Then when I do the bottom, I will take the same silicone and run it around the washers and stick it up underneath. Um, that way the bottom sealed on this front side and then on the inside of this box in here, it's sealed on the bottom side. So there really ain't no way for moisture to get in at all. Hopefully, that's what you hope for anyways. But that's where we're at. I guess. Got my shallow water anchors mounted in. This is what they look like. Hopefully I can get a video of maybe trying them out and see how they work. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it.